Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? Check out rockbottomcoins.com for cheap and fast coins. Use code ZERK for 30% off your order. The whole thing wobbing. What's going on guys? It's Zerks coming at you today with another YouTube video and today I'm going to be telling you guys about at the time that I'm recording this video a glitch that still works. By the time you guys are seeing the video it probably is patched by now and it may even be patched by the time I'm done recording this video because I'm sure by now EA definitely knows about it. But I do want to give a shout out to John Michael for being a part of the Nodi Gang. And if you guys want a chance to be shout out in the next video, drop a like on the vid. Make sure you guys are sub the channel with that notification bell on and comment down below Nodi Gang. Now, I'm also going to be going over what to do first in Series 6. You guys seem to really like these videos when I do them, like telling you exactly what to do with new series updates. Because there's a lot of new content in the game. You kind of want to know exactly what you should, be, you should be doing first. So, first up, let's talk about the glitch that's currently working at the time I'm recording this video. So, the glitch is actually if you happen to have any sort of Delaney Walker uh, power up, right? If you power Delaney Walker up, you will need to buy his Mud Hero, which is currently like 400k. Because a lot of people know about the glitch. I wasn't going to initially say anything about the glitch over on Twitter at all, but then a lot of people actually, as soon as I posted my content video, people started commenting on it, which you guys haven't seen the video, definitely check it out. People started commenting on it with the glitch already, so somehow people already knew, and that's how I actually found out it was from you guys actually commenting on the video. I went to Twitter, I saw a bunch of people commenting about it, so I decided I'll tweet out, let people know so they can get the glitch done as fast as they possibly can. Basically, if you want to power up Delaney Walker, you can go ahead and power him up at the time of this video. You don't even need his 98 overall, and you don't need a 98 overall power pass. You literally can use the 62 to 81 overall power up pass, and you'll get a 99 Delaney Walker. Pretty crazy glitch. Now, personally, I'm not going to do it because you'd have to buy his like 400k card. And then on top of that, I don't really want Delaney Walker on the team. Like, it's a great run blocker, decent speed, but just not the best catching tight end overall. So for me, I don't really want Delaney. If I wanted Delaney, I definitely would have spent the 300k, 350k, whatever his mud here was going for at the time that I noticed the glitch and actually got him. But yeah, I'm, I'm not going to do that. But yeah, it's currently a glitch going on right now. You can actually get Delaney Walker. So if you see a lot of people with Delaney in Weekend League or head to head, that's how. Now, will EA patch this? Absolutely, they're going to patch it. Will they take Delaney Walkers back from people? I'm not sure if they can or if they will. But I guess we'll find out. So if you guys did the glitch, right, and you have Delaney Walker in the team right now, and all you did was use a 62 to 81 overall power pass, which is hilarious that they messed that up. If, in fact, they do take the Delaney, just comment down below. Let me know down below right now, do you guys still have your Delaney Walker, or did they take him? Because this, is, this video is probably going up, like, two hours from the time I'm actually recording right now, so we'll have to see exactly what's going on with that. But let me go over now what to do first with Series 6. So the very first thing that I think anyone should be doing when it comes to the new series update is definitely working on your mutt level. You guys seem already up to mutt level 92. And if we take a look down here at the series progression, I believe that it is the, yeah, series progression, go to the mutt level, you guys see everything that you get. So mutt level 91, you get some free fantasy packs in the store. Well, not free, but one's with coins or training. The other one is going to be with points. And then you get a free ultimate legend fantasy pack at level 92. Level 93, you get some level challenges, 50,000 coins quick sell 98 overall power up pass then you get some more packs to go ahead and buy another free ul level challenges and then a 99 overall power pass plus in this store there's a fantasy pack an ultimate fantasy pack i think it's 400 points i want to say uh you get a 97 overall ultimate player so you definitely want to make sure you get your mud level done as fast as you can that way you get the most coins possible out of the rewards you know the ultimate fantasy pack is whatever you can pull basically anything but those fantasy packs those players eventually it's not even going to be worth it to buy like the coin value of them is just not going to be worth it so definitely make sure you guys are grinding out your level as fast as you can my personal opinion and what's worked for me you guys always ask me how do i live up so quickly i will literally have a level up video out for you guys level 91 through level 99 within three hours of you seeing this video and i'm going to get asked how did i do it so quickly well it's the booth breakers technicolor commentary all you guys have to do play it on one star throw a td that's him. Throw a TD, get 220 XP, and then just keep hitting replay challenge, replay challenge, replay challenge. You can sit here. I'd say it takes maybe four to five hours, depending on how long you actually get it done, depending on what play you run as well and how good your team is. Uh, definitely put a fast wide receiver at wide receiver one. Chuck it up. Pretty easy. 
Now, the number two thing that I would do is definitely play the Gauntlet 3. Now, you guys can see you actually get some decent rewards from playing the Gauntlet. You get an 81 plus overall player pack, which I've seen people pull like 90 overalls. So you're not always going to get just an 81 or 82, whatever. But you get two of those. Then you get 15,000 additional coins. You get an 85 plus overall player pack. You also get a Gauntlet 3 upgrade token, which is pretty nice to upgrade some of those previous Gauntlet players. Uh, tier 6, you get 20,000 coins. That's not bad. Then you get another Gauntlet 3 upgrade token. Tier 8, you get a gauntlet 3 fantasy pack which, which of course gives you a choice between some pretty decent players and i'll go over those players in the sets in just a second here but tier 9 of course is 125 stars you get 35,000 coins and then if you get perfect on every single challenge all the stars you get a 92 plus overall player pack with that gauntlet 3 expert token now that's why it's one of the most important things is if you've done the gauntlet 2 and the gauntlet 1 and you got the expert token which honestly i didn't i'm not sure how many people actually did get the expert token and everything but if you did, number one, you're crazy, but I respect the grind like crazy because I absolutely would not be doing it. But you can go ahead and do the Gauntlet Expert Reward, which now will allow you to get a 94 plus overall Elite Player, which is auctionable, or a 96 overall Gauntlet 3 player, which is literally any of these 15 players. So there'll be a 96 overall, you know, Keith Bullock, Troy Aikman, whatever, Marshall Yonda, Emmanuel Sanders, Juju, Devin White, Derwin James. Honestly, pretty good. Now, something else that just happens to correspond with Series 6 because EA basically made it that way is the new House Rules event. Now, not only do I think this is really important that you guys should play it because, first up, the rewards are actually pretty decent, but secondly, these count towards your season's head-to-head -head wins, or your series head-to-head -head wins, which I'll go over that as well because that's really important that you try to work on that as much as you can, and get those series trophies because you can get the Delaney Walker, you can get him NAT, you can get the Coach Madden Collectibles, everything that you guys would need to do. But you guys see, with the new House Rules events, all you have to do is it's plus 12 points for a 20-yard offensive TD, plus three points for an interception or a fumble, and a cooldown of three plays, so if you select, like, you know, single back, half back dive, you have to wait three plays for you can call that specific play Again, which I think is pretty cool because it forces people to actually use at least some sort of different plays. But if we take a look at the rewards you actually get for the house rules, I think it's definitely important you get it done pretty quickly and get it done pretty much now because you can see you get free agent players now obviously free agent players as time goes on they'll come down in value so you want to get it done as fast as you can for five wins you get one 87 to 94 free agent pack uh 10 wins you get another one 15 wins you get two of them 20 wins you get three of them and for 25 wins you get two 90 to 94 free agent packs so this is really good especially if you guys want to try to get Jadavion Clowney done this will help you get the sets done and that's only 25 wins which Sounds like a lot, right? But it may be not take you that long. And of course, if you want to keep going with it, up to 50 wins. From 30 to 50 wins, you get an additional 500 trophies. And it looks like, what are we at? 45K plus 20K, so 65,000 coins additionally. Honestly, not bad. And to me, I find house rules kind of fun. And that will definitely help you get done with the series progression when it comes to the multiplayer list which you guys can see you get additional trophies for everything you do so if you win one online game you get a 10 series 6 trophy so let's say i don't know you go through and you want to play 50 of those head-to-head -head games right so you get 60 of these series trophies you get additional 60 here 60 here 30 here 30 here 30 30 and 10 that's a lot of trophies for playing 50 of the house rules games getting those rewards and also getting a bunch of series trophies which then you can go ahead and use in the store now the store is probably the final thing that i actually want to talk about with the new series update aside from maybe you guys want to take a look at the auction block because i know right now uh packs are usually pretty good it's just kind of random how it is packs are pretty good on the very first day of new series updates you guys will see there's going to be a ton of lamar jacksons on the auction block there's going to be a ton of different series redux players pulled because pack odds are just juice the first day of new series updates so if you guys want to text like test out the packs you definitely can maybe open up some packs but maybe you also want to look at the auction log, try to mess with stuff over there and use your trophies on, you know, John Madden, NAT, uh, Delaney Walker, if you guys didn't happen to be able to do the glitch, pack odds can be kind of decent. So with that being said, guys, I believe that is everything you should try to do first with the Series 6 in the order that I told you guys, because honestly, that mutt level is probably the number one important thing. Now, maybe you want to skip around and do the house rules instead of the gauntlet if you're, like, not that excited. The gauntlet isn't necessarily something you have to do in a timely manner, strictly because, you know, the players that you get are going to be NAT, unless you have those expert tokens. You probably want to get it done as fast as you can and try to get that 94-plus overall auctionable player, because I know a lot of people are going to do them. We might see the market come down just a little bit and of course with series six usually 
the market does kind of crash, especially with the series Redux players that we just got today with the Lamar Jackson. All those are really, really good cards. But with that being said, guys, I hope you did enjoy the video. And if you did, make sure to drop a like on the video and, of course, hit that sub button down below. I'll see you guys next time.